Welcome to Everdell Moment. I am Greg Blythe. And today you're going to be asking yourself, I think I've heard the name Tanaka before, but the question would be, which Tanaka? In the knife industry, the name Tanaka is like read and said everywhere. But you do have to ask yourself, which Tanaka are we talking about? I mean, are we talking about the infamous Yoshikazu Tanaka, who his brand is like literally everywhere? Or you've got Kasuto Tanaka, who is going to be of the Matsuburo knives. And then on the other hand, are you talking about Shigeki Tanaka? I mean, this young guy has got it going on. And, and you're like, did, which one made that knife? Well, we're going to be covering the different Tanakas on this series called Witch Tanaka. And today we're going to spotlight one of them, which is going to be Shigeki Tanaka. So today... In featuring the Shigeki Tanaka knife, we have 190 millimeter Kuritsuke Gyuto. Um, this particular unboxing today features a blue number two Damascus knife. Uh, this guy works with every type of steel, whether it's Damascus VG10. Um, he works with R2. He loves blue too. I've got to say blue t but number two is one of his favorites. <coughs> um, definitely uh, different types of finishes. I've seen white number two. It's occasional. White two, white one is, I mean, he dwells there. Um, Jin San, definitely one of the ones you'll see very popular with him. Um, the fit and finish on this is nice. These knives are not like really expensive they're not on the high side and we're going to find out today how the performance is but shigeki is a young guy but not new to blacksmithing okay so fourth generation this guy comes from a family that has been making knives for so long and before but they really before they got in knives they were a tool making family okay like his grandfather mr gentaro made sickles and he had the uh, tanaka sickle company and and that's what they did but but Shigeki was like, you know, I'm going to go learn some more. I'm going to leave Miki, Japan, where he's from. And he left the, left the town of Miki and he went on over to Takafu Village. And you know that's where all the great 700 years of history has been merged into this village. And those guys are getting it done. And for three years he trained at Takafu before he returned home to Miki, went back to the Tanaki family, showed them the new technology. And in 1999, these 1995, excuse me, he was transitioning them from making sickles into knives. After he got the family into the business of making knives, he started making his own brand. And then after um, he made Tanaka Saku knives, I mean, he's been on his way. I, in the beginning, when I would see the name Tanaka, was confused because I didn't really realize that there was three different Tanakas. So I'm really glad today to feature this young and up-and-comer we're gonna go ahead and get into some testing. We already had a chance to see how beautiful this knife is. I do wanna point out that there is like, it's kind of, it's a Kuriichi finish, but it's very soft. So it's almost Nasiji-ish, it's almost pear finish. So, but you do see the Damascus as the cladding wears away, going into the blue number two core really nice let me let me point out the the taper on this uh it's pretty consistent i would say that the knife is barely tapered down here and then it gets a little gets a little thinner at the last second oh, yeah, it but it's not actually really thick even at the handle traditional handle mm -hmm. um nothing unusual about it nothing overly spectacular and I think for the price point, we got this from Zahocho Knives. Love those guys and everything. They love us. And yeah. <laughs> we always get like a nice little uh, card in there. Um, I think I lost the card actually. And look at this. But, yep. We've got a nice collection from Zahocho. Good relationship with them. But let's see how this knife performs. I mean, that's what we're thinking, right? I mean... And it's kind of nice. You know, it's not unusually tall. Uh, I would think it's average it to like maybe a little bit on the short side. Here, that angle seems that seems like it's cutting back a little bit, huh? But it's a little bit, but it's also that <coughs> seems like there's enough clearance because you have this nook here. 
Yeah. But normally you'd pinch, but you can get the other finger in there. Beautiful. I'm excited to use it for the very first time on the show. Let's go ahead and get the best tester out just to see what we're looking at out of the box. Of course, you know, these things can get uh, mixed up, you know, in shipping and everything. They can get their edges bumped. Let's light it up. Let's see what we got going on here. Let me get it in there. Okay. Tear it. So a, a sub 200. Yep. We like to see that. We always do two. All right. So let's grab another. Pick a different spot on the knife to do. So we got a little even lower, Better. close to yep. the heel. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, we love anything below 200. That's kind of amazing. We always like to hear or not hear the sounds of paper being cut. Um, You know, very, very little tension. The wife is freaking out. Yeah, right? I mean, She's you're like, just like, I'm barely holding it, and I almost like whacked my finger with right? it. I probably would have. So, okay, stop. Now you're being. Oh my gosh. Yep. It's, he's that guy. You know, it's kind of fun. Some of the people haven't seen that test before. And everything, so that was kind of cool. Kind of cool. We'll uh, you gotta be careful if you come too far back. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Mm -mm. Paper towel. Thanks, Captain. Um, do over. Yeah, it's a do over here. Okay. You, mm. you got a little close to the fingers. I think she was freaking out. I, I mean, whatever you got to do. But it's kind of like a nice little angle slice. Yeah. That's sharp, dude. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Shigeki's got it going on. All right. It's little. Out of the box. Nice. A little food magic. We have like a little onion that's maybe not so happy on the one end. Sorry. Ooh, I'm not eating that one. We, you know, it's all for I'm the show, sure we babe. We can cut part of it off, but. Yeah, it's all for the show. One for the money. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Whoa! Oh my God. Did you guys see it just, it just slips? Okay. Not in my agenda for the evening. Shigeki getting it done. Okay, Shigeki's in the house. That's what I'm saying. So, when you're having trouble deciding which Tanaka, Shigeki's one of the ones you definitely want to get a hold of. What? That was definitely not a dull moment. I'm glad we could share one of the Tanakas. Stay tuned in this series for two more Tanakas. What? Friday nights at 8 o'clock. God bless. We're out.